before we go further is share with the audience that, you know, you've talked about leading yourself and kind of helping manage yourself. Um, in IFS, there is the term self. Yeah, yeah. And and how can you share how that looks, you know, from the inside, I guess. is the... Yeah. Well, self is something, true self is something we are all born with. And life somehow pushes these things out, right? And this is, we have a version, right, of how we maybe manage our calm when true self just is calm, right? We may have a managed part of how we feel courageous, right? And we, or feel confident and, and, and self just is confident. Right. And and just is has courage to, to step out there. Right. I have a part of me uh that's polarized. Like I have a part of me that plunges. That that's the part of me that, that went out to social media <laughs> and made the platform. I have a part of me that sits back in the back of the classroom and hopes no one sees me being quiet. Right. And so when someone says, Oh, I found your your YouTube videos, I'm like, Oh, you did that one in the back of the class is like, like huh. <laughs> and so in the middle, right, true self is confidence, right? And that comes out uh, when we really try to uh, make that space. You're talking about making that space for our parts and embracing our humanity. It opens up opportunity for us to have access to more self energy. And, and then as a internal feminist and therapist, I'm modeling that. So I'm making sure that I'm in self as well with the client and monitoring my parts like hey sit back for a moment (laughs) or if I have a part that's very vocal and wants (laughs) to say something I'll say okay I have a part that wants to make sure (laughs) x y and z take it or leave it (laughs) but this one is up right but making sure I'm in self so then they can they can know right what that looks like what that feels like for themselves internally and allow themselves to embrace it as well 